Hello everyone and welcome back to Dying Light. Yeah, hello boys. We're gonna keep doing the main quest for this one. It's gonna be so awesome. I'm just gonna kill these pricks right over here. I'm ready to go. Yeah, boy. Ah, come at me, ho. Whoa. Come on, hit me, hit me. Hit me! Hit me! Hit me! Huh? 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 And his name is John Cena! Yeah, run! Run away, little girl! Run away. Deadly boss boss, what a walk life reference for you all. <clears throat> Luck pick, god damn it. Got it! First try, <clears throat> yeah, first try, of course. Okay. Damn, we got a. We are far away, son. Alright, see you soon. Alright, we're here at Akan now. Back to the peacekeepers, or whatever the douchebag's name were. Hello, Akan! He wants me to find Lucas's murderer. Only then will he help me get to the center. I'm doing his dirty work. Well, that's no surprise. He told me to start with the bazaar. <sighs> Figures. PK and the bazaar really hate each other. And I hate both. Only two people matter at the bazaar. Nah, I don't. One is that overblown preacher, Carl. He's my favorite. I know that. Who else is there? Sophie, his right hand. She has a way with the bazaar's more rebellious souls. Helps him keep control. There's also Dodger, a local gangster. He knows what's going on, and about the bandits led by Joe. But they're afraid of the PK. Okay, I'll talk to Sophie and you look into Carl, unless you prefer the girl. Sophie? Uh, she's not really my type, you know? And headstrong. She's, you'll see. So we go to the bazaar or what? Back at the bazaar and there's some guy here. What are you doing, son? Why are you staring into a wall? Can I join you in staring? What the fuck are you doing? Are you trying to break in? Dude, there are people inside the door and I'm right here watching you. What the hell are you doing? Alright, let's ignore the fact he's trying to break in. He's breaking into a sanctuary. Alright, we take this entrance instead. Knock, 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 no. That's our door. Hey, who the fuck are you? Easy, chief. He ain't PK. How do you know? Yes, I am. I work for them. The He's the outside We've been here door. multiple times. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. We've been here multiple times. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, pilgrim, and stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one. Am friends. I doing quests in the wrong order, or is the quest line just this fucked up? with a biomarker. Carl said, "If you show up, to bring your own, so he can introduce himself." What a nice change from wanting to hang me. You gotta stop bringing that up, Aiden. And remember, forgive and forget. Humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. Oh, these cutscenes, man. He didn't want to. He had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. Why well, gotta be so negative, Carl? Carl. <laughs> Since this is a zombie game and his name is Carl, I'm gonna do a Rick Grimes and call him Carl. Carl! Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive. Do you look like efforts. if Satan was a man? But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. All right, Coral. I hope you can forgive us. Of course, so, Coral. Pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? Uh -huh. well, is gossip all you want from me, Carl? Coral. No. But you came from outside. And you're walking around my flock. So you pretentious motherfucker! Straight. What are you on about? You're a sheep or a wolf? What are you then? The fuck you talking about? I hate that I'm metaphor. Really fan of this metaphor. Ah oh, yes, I see. 
pilgrim. Yeah, I'm role playing a pilgrim. I'm nothing. I'm. They prefer to act. Independent, son. Yeah, about acting. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? Uh, stop with that pretentious fucking monologuing. It's my own That's business. My business. Not when you're on my turf. Fuck off! I hate coral. But fine. I'll humor you. Your business, whatever it may be, is not a threat to us. After all, you're just one man. And we are many. Dude, you didn't see it Go like out. in episode 2 when I killed Twin by myself? A man. Might That's even be in episode 1. So no, uh, bodyguard. episode 2, right? She won't be far. And I really hope your business doesn't make Herman angry. Herman! Farewell, my friend. I bet he's German. <laughs> Alright, let's that. screw that guy, Coral. Are you Sophie? <laughs> Damn. Sophie, can we talk? You've been hot, girl! Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. What the fuck? It looks precisely like one of my old co workers. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim. Damn, she fine! Physically. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. No wonder Herman's simping. Yesterday, you made quite an entrance. Yesterday has been several Would you happen to know of days. Hmm. People here say you can be useful. I'd rather see for myself. How about a small errand first? Uh, what are you proposing? Go to one of the craftmasters. Alberto or Vincenzo. Hey, I know. I know Both them. know the location of the purest crystals. I need oh, some he's a meth. for a certain transaction. You're a meth girl, aren't you? Fine. I'll go talk to one of those craftmasters. They should be at the bazaar. Do well, and we can think about giving you bigger jobs. Damn, you're like the manliest simp ever. Jesus. Here, I sell the real deal. Sophie sent me. She says you know where they can find some crystals. Hey, that is a German doctor from before. Fox. They've already sent one of their. F f f f German doctor always gives their bad wipes. <laughs> Sophie's brother. Herman? Uh, what was the asshole's name? Barney. The ah. asshole's name is Barney. I just wished Herman was her brother. About a dark zone with crystals. Yeah, that's news to me. So where is that dark zone? It's a hundred... Uh, 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 a hundred and... hundred meters from the metro. There's a big sign, fashion store, and a windmill on the other side of the street. All right, thanks. All right, let's go there. And? Well, what did you find? I know the location, but I was told your brother asked about it already. Herman! See if Barney turned on his radio. Oh, he's so edgy. Doing that edgy no-talk thing. Answer. Fuck you, Herman. Herman is the worst character of e any game ever. So that's why he's gone offline. He's looking for the crystals on his own. <laughs> and throwing a wrench in the works yet again. This isn't the first time, I gather. No. He's always trying to prove himself. Last time he got wounded. Wasn't that long ago either. A fucking kid. I'll kill him. I'll just kill him. I kiss him. I mean, I kiss you. I mean, I kill him for you. Whatever you say. How'd Barney get wounded? He didn't want to tell me. Your brother keeps secrets from you? That's none of your business. Barney, answer me. Damn it. I can try to try. Let's just go. I don't know. There's too much dialogue. Alright, it needs to be night time when we go there. Where is he then? Over there. Alright, let's go to sleep. Let's heal up. Craft some more healing stuff. Like that, I'm just giving you information. All right, let's sleep and come back tonight, son. Night time is here, boys. Let's go find that method. Where was it? There it is. Oh, I went out the wrong way, of course. All right, almost there. Oh, hello. <laughs> Randomly finding GRE stuff. Amazing. 
Great. I'm accidentally changing my volume all the time. Alright, so we're going down here. Where's the entrance? Here it is. Alright. Let's do it sneaky peeky. I'm inside. It's not Santa Barney yet. You have to find him. He has to be in there somewhere. I'm looking. Hurry. Hello. Bye bye. What's this? Item. Newspaper article. Wow! Thank God we found that shit. What's this? Yeah, let's create all the noises we can. Damn! Green crystal core. What the hell is that? Ooh! A lot of them in here. Not want to risk too much though, but well, hell with it. <laughs> White crystal core. Barney. Tell me you're all Hello, Barney. I'm just gonna mine some <laughs> before I go ahead. Whoa, this motherfucker is dead. Barney. Do you hear me? Extremely dead. Report in, Hammock. Sophie. Taden. I found a radio. And a body. Mail. Why, bald man. I'm sorry, Sophie. <sighs> That's not Barney. That's Kojak. Kojak. Uh, Barney can't be far. But why did he have Barney's radio? Investigation. Ooh. I'm on the case. Can we loot him? Found something. Let's follow the footprints. Sophie, I found blood. It's fresh. Hurry, Aiden. Ignore me. Up we go. Up we go. Hello, are you Barney? God damn it! Ah, it's a woman. Can't be Barney. Another casualty. Sadness me. Fuck's sake! How much does this shit weigh? Easy there, buddy. Easy there. Just let me take care of you! A ah, little quick. Gotcha. Ah, he's still alive! Damn it. Motherfucker. Fuck. Now what am I supposed to do? Barney? Are you? Shh, shh, shh. For Christ's sake. A Sophie sent me. Yeah, right. And I'm a PK general. Are you? Do you know anything about Lucas and stuff? These are our crystals. You get it? You will get it. Whoa. Easy there, Aiden, my baby. Open up. Fuck off. Yes. Sophie. Found Barney, but he's locked himself in a room. He's alive. Good. A stubborn fucker. Just try and talk to him. I'll try. Barney! Go back to where you came from! I don't know where that is. Your sister is worried about you. Don't you even... Keep Sophie out of it! But, but it's true! You're damn lucky I'm busy here, dipshit! I hate Barney. Barney, I'll count to three. One, two, three. Go the fuck away! You ain't getting a thing from me! Fuck shit! What is he doing there? Great. Uh oh. What are we doing now? Are we just fighting? Or what are we doing? Yeah, we're fighting. Wah! What? Where am I? I can't see shit! 
Barney, you goddamn dinosaur, help me! No one to let myself in, you piece of cabbage. Ah! Whoa. Shut up! Good job, baby. Whoa, we did it. Is that guy again? Yeah, went out for some air. Because he was a dick to us. Your sister mentioned you're stubborn. She didn't say you were an idiot. <laughs> hey, I should beat you down for that. Oh, good luck. Here, take your radio. We're leaving. No, Birdie. We gotta find Birdie. Ah. He lured away the infected when they were about to get me down there. If not for him, I'd have. You're in no condition. He's just a kid. He drew those back. You're in no con I'm not gl We look for him. God damn it. He was on the ground floor when those assholes surrounded me. They ran out after him through the side door. Okay. You stay here and wait for my signal. Off Hurry! Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Up. Whoops. Blood. Must be birdies. Trash would lead me to him. Woohoo, <sighs> close one. Alright, where's the trails? Here's the trails. You find birdie? Not yet, but he was bleeding badly and following the trail. Yup! Ooh, did it. Right. We're in here. I think I found him. Now I'm free like a birdie. <laughs> Hello, son. You need my aid? Because I'm Aiden. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Aiden. Can you move? Barney sent me. Barney? <coughs> of course. Yeah, yeah, Go good old Barney, Barney right? <coughs> yeah, he did. Oh, thanks to you, kid. He died. <coughs> I pulled it off. Oh, God. <coughs> Killed three infected. Did you see? Well... Two are wounded already, but uh, listen, it's my birthday today. Don't make me sing, please. And can I ask a favor? You see, uh, over there, my radio. I have to call someone. Here, but we gotta hurry. Of course, of course. Uh, I just gotta. Hello? Oh. Mom. <coughs> God damn it, I'm bad in these situations. Mom? Nathan? Is that you? What happened? Where are you? It's all good, Mom. We're almost... Barney and me are just finishing up here. Barney? He promised me that he'd keep you safe! Don't freak out, Mom. Listen. We got him. The crystals. We got him. And I killed three. Three infected. Yeah, you did. I beat them, Mom. We really need to get going. Then get the hell out and get back here safe. Barney promised. Sure. Soon. We'll be back soon, Mom. Nathan. What's going on? Oh, God. Nathan. Nathan. <sighs> I'm glad we did that shit. Barney, Fuck. you there? Barney? Aiden, you there? Yeah, I'm just trying to reach your brother. 
Barney's here already. Just arrived. He... What? He was He's an to... asshole! I didn't trust you. He thought you wanted to take the crystals. Already got him. He sent me to check on his friend so he could sneak away? It's not like that. Come back to the bazaar. I'll explain everything. Motherfucker! I'm gonna kill that bitch. But he truly cares about the bazaar. No, he does Welcome not. Here. Welcome to the bazaar, pilgrim. Dude, did someone throw some acid at you? Going on? Whatever you're drinking, please stop it. It's you know, destroying sometimes you. Sometimes I wonder what we did wrong. Surely God is punishing us for something. Damn, you look like my wallet. God damn. Sometimes I wake up at night and forget. Anyways, let's beat the fuck out of this. Asshole kid. Things are better for us now, right? Depends, doesn't it? Veronica, the guy was a prick. The PK were a pain in the ass with him in charge. Conclusion's pretty straightforward. Lucas is gone. Things are better for us. Amen. It'd be better if you just shut up, Barney. Fuck is Veronica. Where's Sophie? You again. What are you doing? Spying on me? You got something to hide? We were talking about the PK commander, weren't you? Look at Mr. Nosy here. Watch where you stick that nose, Pilgrim, or you'll lose it. That fuckward Lucas deserved to die. That's the truth. Barney, the truth is this. You're an idiot, and the peacekeepers protect us. Protect? For what? Who took over our windmill? The peacekeepers. Who took over the metro? Fucking Lucas. So they should get the fuck out before they all end up like their motherfucking commander. Yeah, please kill him. Yeah, what did you trick me? You were supposed to wait for me. Suppose schmozed. Plans changed. Afraid I was after your crystals, huh? Afraid? Of you? Give me a break. We've got our own. You're the one with the fucking eyeliner and the business. fucking Macklemore haircut, you, you motherfucker. Died for your interests. You used Birdie to distract me. That it? You don't know shit about me and my people, jackass. Birdie was like a brother to me. For some reason, my sister wants to see you. So go bother her. I want to murder him. I want to murder him. Ah, oh, fucking her, we have to kill them, Carl. Whoa. We used to be Carl. We must negotiate. You don't negotiate with extortionists. You're nothing like your mother. Besides, I'm in charge here. Prepare your men. And we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. Fuck the Fucking crystals. Coward. I know what you think. Fuck the crystals, but Birdie! You to listen to him, Herman. In love and memory of Birdie. Only I'm gonna dedicate this episode to Birdie Sophie. and his mom. Relax. Ah, oh, that fucking I hate him. Barney, remember? I wish I didn't. Interesting guy, your little brother. You two didn't get along, I take it. Let's just say it wasn't love at first sight. Barney has his downsides. But on the upside, he is unshakably loyal. Fuck isn't. And with so many problems plaguing old Villador, I just need people I can trust. Trust? What are your problems? You're the curious sort, aren't you, Aiden? I'm curious what your nippers just look ask. like. What do you want to know? I just told you. I want to know what your nippers look like. It seems after the commander was murdered, things got complicated between you and the peacekeepers. <laughs> That's an understatement. To be more precise. Our situation got fucked up. But Lucas, he deserved to die. I don't want to listen to the entire monologue. Seized our windmill. I'll read them and then I... Themselves. In return for what? And then I press skip. Ah. Uh, why do you want crystals? Bail? Crystals are valuable. We needed them. Like I did with Barney and Birdie? It didn't feel like much of a help. Barney was in shock when he heard about Birdie. Fuck, he, he was in shock. He wants what's best for the bazaar, Aiden. He was just a teenager when our mother died. Who the now fuck cares? He doesn't need anyone. Let's spat with Carl. What was that about? Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. If you're annoyed by my Look skipping, around, tell me in the comments what if you want see? to hear the entire dialogues. I'm sorry for skipping, Something but they're so the prolonged. Only dream of. The episode All would be like an, be two hours long if I didn't do it. Why? Because in short order, 
Our water supply and I'm sorry for talking dry. through dialogue, sorry. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. Not long ago, they lived in the bazaar. But Carl threw them out for pulling scams. And now they're taking their revenge. They mined the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, and crystals. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna do about it? And what are you gonna do? What I have to do. I promise to help Carl. Carl. So while he's in charge, we're gonna pay off Jack and Joe. And they're gonna keep squeezing Jack more and, and Joe. more out of us. And so on and so on. The most important thing is for my people to be safe. Uh, that you tell her the birdie him. and the birdie's mother. I want to ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us act, but I'm skeptical. I have to send people to negotiate with Band. Carl and our people have already set out for the spot where the d make sure everything goes smoothly. So I should guard them? Yes. Alright. Did we just level up? We got a Molotov and a hammer. Yeah.